Hey friends, it's me, Anicia, writer, comedian, and professional crime spotter. That's right, I used to be a crime reporter. As in, I showed up to murder scenes, accidental deaths, domestic violence situation, grocery store robberies, all there with my handy dandy notebook and pen going, hmm, who's getting locked up? Uh, so, this is important because I like to pride myself in having the ability to spot a scam and yet and yet i was recently the victim of a scam let's go so <laughs> i was checking my email and i got a message from the single adventist saying rebecca would like to message you or rebecca has sent you a message if you don't know, I am, I grew up Seventh-day Adventist. And about a decade ago, I was looking for love on the internet. Yeah! And I got desperate enough that I started looking at niche websites such as The Single Adventist. I did not stay on that website very long because reasons, but I made a profile. And when I found love, I closed all my profiles. So it was kind of weird to me that years, almost a decade later, I'm having some random person message me via this platform. Another thing to know about me is I'm very big on internet security. So that means if I leave someplace, I don't just never log in again. I scrub it from the internet right that myspace facebook high five profile it's clean it's gone any of y'all remember high five right the caribbean people logging in anyways so i tell myself ugh, don't delete this email just like like when you get around to deleting a profile you'll remember that you have a profile on our website and that was also strange to me because like I said, when I leave a site, I leave that site. And if I don't know how to delete my profile, I do kind of clean it as much as possible, take away my picture, remove my username, clean my bio, and delete as many posts as I can. So less than a week later, I get another email saying, Hey, Onicia, Rebecca on The Single Adventist has sent you a message. So now I'm like, wait a minute. Things popping off on this website. Also, why are these women messaging a profile that hasn't been online in like 10 years? And I was just like, why is it women messaging me? Because, you know, Christians are big on the like, God made Adam for Eve and not Adam for Steve. Abominations, abominations. <laughs> so I'm thinking to myself, mm, I guess I really got to go in there and like delete it or like, like delete my account because that is your right as a consumer as a consumer you have the right to ask companies to send you all the data they have on you you also have the right to be permanently forgotten so i click on it what do you know my email and my password still work and i was like wow okay but now because it's year 2023 of our lord and savior I have to do two-factor authentication. There's no way around it. I'm just like, I hate this so much because I don't want to give this website my phone number. <sighs> I click around on the back end. I see a contact form without doing my two-factor authentication. Go on the form. They say, what is the issue? It say, I would like to close my account. And I was like, oh, how nice and lovely of them to make this so easy for me. So I click I would like to close my account. I give them my contact information sent. Immediately, immediately, I get a reply back. Hey, Oni, sad to see you go. Here's the link to deactivate your account. So I think to myself, wow, that's fast. But you know, whatever. People in India working over time. Or oh, maybe it's a bot. Either way, I'm going to get my account deleted. So... I click on the link, they say you gotta log in. So I was like, okay, fine. I log in. 
And they say now, to log in, you need to do two-factor authentication. And I'm just like, Argh! but I tell myself, okay, fine. Just give them your phone number because, just give them your phone number because you need to log in to deactivate. And once you delete your stuff, you'll be gone, right? So they're not going to have your information for long because they're going to delete. So I click in there. And once I'm in there, I say, well, before I go, let me see who's checking for your girl. <laughs> Mind you, I am married, happily married, with kids. I'm looking for nobody. More importantly, the supposed profiles are women, and I am a heterosexual female, meaning I'm into the penis. <laughs> so I click on the messages, and of course, it says you need to be a paying subscriber to read these messages. You got me, the single event is, you got me. Back up in time. So back when I was on dating profiles, and because I'm a scammer not trying to get catfish, I was doing research on dating sites. If you don't know, a lot of dating websites have fake accounts. You say, what? Yes. So this is how it works. If I want to launch a dating site, I go to an established dating site company, say match.com and I can pay them money to buy their profiles. So I buy all these profiles and I upload it to my website. That's why when a new web dating site launch, all of a sudden you're like, wow, there's millions of people on here and you're messaging people and nobody messaging you back. Why? Because they don't actually have profiles on these accounts. And you have to read the terms and the conditions to know that when you sign up to social media platforms and stuff, you give them the rights sometimes to sell the data to third party companies and stuff like that. And those who say they don't sell your data to third party companies, they own the data. And technically, if they own part of that new company, they're allowed to use your data over there. So if I am the single Mormon, I can take all those profiles and put them into the single Adventist because all these websites are probably owned by Christian Mingle. You see how we're going here? You see how we're going here? So I was like, wow, I got caught in the dating app scam. Extra information. So the reason why they want all these fake profiles on here is because some sites like Match.com, unlike OkCupid and Tinder and stuff, you have to pay to read and send messages. So these companies, not only do they buy profiles so that you, the human, would pay to message Onisia, they also create fake profiles and have people in people around the world pretending to send you messages and they're, they're like Google on the internet. There's like people having chat box or talking to real humans, but not real humans who are interested in relationships. Also that you will continue to pay the monthly subscription fee to message and hopefully find love. And in some, some cases you might say, oh, a few hundred dollars a year to chat to a customer service rep is better than getting hit up for thousands of dollars by a scammer. But you know what would be great? To not pay to message people at all. Or what would be better is if you pay to message real people who are actually looking for love. Moving on. So now I'm like, okay, fine. Let me go through with the deactivation process. Deactivate the website, log me up. Same with most websites, when you deactivate or delete your account, it immediately logs you out. Now, this is the test, people. This is the test. Remember I say you have the right to permanently delete yourself from the internet? Well, companies do not want to see you go. So what they do is they deactivate you. The difference between delete and deactivate is this. When you deactivate your profile, they completely hide you from the site. 
meaning that other users can't find you. It's as if you don't exist. But the moment you put in your email and password, it will say, welcome back. And now everybody can see you online again. This is stupid. That's not what I want. I want you to delete my information. Because sometimes when you deactivate it, you will still get notifications. No, you can't get notifications because people could see you or whatever. Anyways, right? I want to permanently delete my account. So I say something about this website, Fishy, the single adventures.com. Let me go try and log in. Log in and say, hey, this account was deactivated. Would you like to reactivate it? It's like, ah, this is not what I want. So now I'm searching through the website. I click on the about page, terms and conditions. I'm like, who owns this website? The about page have like, hi, I'm whoever, whoever. I was an Adventist looking for love, so I made this website. And I was like, this copy reads very generic. We don't see an image of this person. When I do a Google search of the owner, there's a LinkedIn page, but they're not active on LinkedIn, which makes me very much to believe that the owner of this company is trying to hide them Else, right which leads me to believe that the single adventist.com is probably owned by another company that just bought a bunch of fake profiles and now they got my phone number meaning that they are unscrupulous and you're like what do you say what's the big deal of them having your phone number because when an unscrupulous company has your phone number your email they can just keep selling it to other dating sites other third parties yada 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 or at minimum, continue to have fake bots send me messages in hopes that one day I will actually pay to speak to people. Anyways, so I couldn't find a way to permanently delete my account because the sketchy website don't have no kind of email. No support at the singleadventist.com, no help at the singleadventist.com, no nothing. So I decided to guess some support emails. So I email support, customer service, complaints, help, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And hopefully they get back to me. And if they don't get back to me, the lesson of the moral of the story of the matter is if you are in a relationship and your old dating profiles start hitting you up. Don't log in, friends. Don't log in. It's nothing but fembots. It's nothing but scammers. Do not engage. Do not give them your email. Just report as spam. Turn on your email filters. Let them know that you are no longer available. <sighs> Anyways, if you're interested in more of my hot takes about scams, swindles, and schemes, you're not because I have a podcast, friendship, web show thingy with my good, good, in real life friend, Devin Whitlock, who is not a scammer and is very funny. It's called Scam Swindles and Schemes. You can find it at onisamiller.com forward slash scams. Final reminder, I'm still on this journey to becoming a staff writer on the TV show, selling a movie. So if you think I'm funny, send this video to... I'm trying to think of somebody. You know what? Send this to my favorite rom-com actress. You can tag Sandra Bullock on, t um, on Twitter. Or tag Meg Ryan because she was in You've Got Me Up. Yeah, tag Meg Ryan. Tag Tom Hanks, you know? Tag Chet Hanks. Why tag Chet Hanks? Because he also went to Northwestern because he has a very authentic Caribbean accent and um, I think he's single. Let him know don't fall for no scams. Bye! I'm not a cutesy Instagram person, so you're not going to come here to find like eyebrows on fleek or like, you know, contour for the gods the only contouring i got going on right here right now is my mustache if you actually know me in real life and you watch this video and you don't click like just because you know me and you're glad i like you're dirty you're no good you're dirty just click like man like it's totally anonymous like nobody in the world going to know that you actually like this video don't be stingy
Just click like that. Guess who? Solo Queen. Sigma Defense. Big Blacks. Yeah.